Nowadays, nothing really is Size me. Only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's Icy. I got wifey on, blingin' she Freeze, Freeze. Photo. photo, please, please. No photos, no, no. Jeez. Jeez. no, 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 please, no photos Alright guys, today your boy is on a bit of a mission. I haven't really talked about it much, but recently I've been trying to change up my diet a little bit and get to working out a little bit better just to make sure that I'm a little bit healthier. And I'm not gonna lie, today, I just want a slice of pizza, but we have some work to do on the IS300 before we can do that. Now the issue is that the pizza place that I usually like to go to only has street parking, it's on a bit of a hill, and I can't really trust my e-brake right now. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I don't think that this is supposed to be able to happen with the e-brake on. We're gonna have to move somewhere quick because I think it's gonna start raining here pretty soon. So, let's see if all of those seasons of Drive to Survive have helped me become a better mechanic. I'm not saying it's looking promising, but I think it's looking promising. That's a slow stop from Ferrari. I don't know why the Jackman is taking so long to get the car in the air. It looks like this is their first time doing a pit stop. Charlie Leclerc looks mighty unhappy with the mechanics. This is just adding to the string of bad luck that has been plaguing this team. When will it end? And slow coming off the rear left. When did they switch to five lug? Someone is definitely getting fired after this stop. Well, I'm not saying I'm breaking any records. But I'm also not telling you guys that you shouldn't tell Ferrari to hire me. So now we're getting a little bit closer to seeing what our problem is. You can see right there is my brake caliper that's nice and powder coated, but absolutely dirty as hell. This thing's screaming out for a wash. But inside of this brake rotor is actually what we're looking for. Inside of this little hat is where our parking brake mechanism sits. To adjust the e-brake, you guys don't actually have to pull any of this stuff off. I'm just doing this for the video so you guys can kind of see what's going on inside of there. Once we have the rotor off, we can see that inside of it is just a mini drum brake system. We've got shoes and springs holding everything together, but instead of having a wheel cylinder there, we only have the parking brake cable to actuate the brakes. So our adjuster sits at the bottom in between the two shoes, and it's this nice little silver thing that if we line up this hole in the hub, we can actually see and we can actually get to from the outside of the brake rotor. And since I got the rotor off, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the shoes with some 180 grit just to get any glazing off of them. I'm going to do the same thing on the rotors just to make sure that I've got a nice contact surface and that everything's kind of wearing evenly. Then we can throw the rotor back on with some lug nuts and start adjusting this e-brake. Now to adjust it go ahead and find your most expensive snap-on screwdriver and try to shove it in a hole when it doesn't fit. Find the cheapest screwdriver you can find. If it came out of a furniture set, then that'll probably be the best one. And we're gonna start turning that adjuster wheel at the bottom between the two shoes upwards. That's gonna push the rotors out towards the drum section of the rotor hat and basically tighten the e-brake up. Now the way that I usually tell how tight these are is I go all the way until I lock the rotor in place with the shoes and then I back it off like three to five turns spinning the rotor every once in a while to make sure that the shoes are nice and settled inside of there. And before I put any wheels back on I like to get back in and check the e-brake. I like to make sure that this is pretty firm at like seven to ten clicks right in that range. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine probably nine clicks until like that's full like i can't pull anymore so right about there should be good so i'm gonna go ahead and throw the wheels back on and we'll see if this thing holds just picked up some bands come and come again come again they do what i do i'm like simon says yeah i'm the running man rapping rubber bands rubber bands they do what i do i'm like simon says they do what I do, I'm like Simon Says, Simon Says, swerving naked plays, what fool are you at? Never out my zone, touchdown in my ass, only fam around me, I can't have no friends, had to cut you off, you left me out for dead, ever since I was a teen, had prices on my ass, had to cut you off, you left me out for dead, they do what I do, I'm like Simon Says, just because I'm bad. Here. 
Well, that's not necessarily what I was expecting to happen. But if we look right over here under the boot, that is my e-brake cable that just broke in half. Now I gotta find another one of those and replace it, hopefully soon, because now I don't have any sort of e-brake. I'm literally just keeping it in gear so that it doesn't roll down my driveway, but that's not gonna be enough for a real hill. Oh God, guys. And here I was, I thought we were done. I thought we could get pizza, but now, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Hey, uh, I'm calling because I need a uh, price and availability on a part. Okay, just to confirm, it's an O3IS 300? Yes, sir. Okay, what are you looking for? Uh, I need a parking brake cable. Should be the one from the actual parking brake handle to the next section, I'd say. Old music kind of goes hard. You said the one that attaches to the actual handle? Yes, sir. Okay. Price is $102.44. And I can have one here by tomorrow if I order before 3 o'clock today. I have a quote number if you'd like. Yeah, can we just get that ordered, please? Okay. Okay, boys. Not necessarily. Not necessarily the news that I wanted to hear right now, but it's what we got. Okay, so what I'm thinking was the parking brake was very out of adjustment, but I think the cable was also a little bit stretchy. And <laughs> I think that, that getting the parking brake adjusted to where it's supposed to be gave just the right amount of resistance so that when I pulled it that last time, it snapped, snapped the cable completely in half. I've never seen that happen before in my life, but it's insane so good old bluetooth handbrake and i've got to wait until tomorrow to get the parts so doesn't look like we're getting pizza today boys we will try again next time but i hope you guys enjoyed the video there's still some good knowledge in this video unfortunately we didn't get the payoff i didn't get the payoff it's gonna have to be another day of chicken rice and broccoli it looks like the universe is just telling me i'm fat and shouldn't be going to get pizza apparently <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys next time